Networker provides block-based backup functionality for Windows file systems. This feature is optimized to backup high-density file systems or simply put a file system with millions of small files. I will now walk through the client configuration wizard and show how easy it is to configure Windows clients for block-based backup. The first step is to launch the Networker Management Console and create the Networker client. The client configuration wizard for block-based backup is the same wizard used to create all other clients. I will type in the name of the client and the wizard will automatically detect the applications and file systems found on the client. On this client we simply have file systems so I select the file systems. The client backup option screen allows me to choose block-based backup as an option. I can also choose integrated deduplication through data domain. So for example, I have data domain in my environment and I will automatically get source side deduplication when I select the data domain. I now select the target pool for my backup. The wizard will automatically provide me with a list of the file systems that are mounted on this client. As an administrator, I have the option to choose which file systems I want to participate in the block-based backup. The Client Properties screen is the same for all clients. This is where I select the retention policy as well as a browse policy. Something to note here is that there are no indexes required for block-based backup because the recovery will occur via a virtual mount. I will have the option to use a new or existing group. I am going to select a new group and the wizard will automatically create the group during the configuration. I can back up to the networker server or use a storage node when appropriate. The client has been configured and I can review the summary of the client before I create the new client. When I expand the group in the left pane, you will see that the new group was created by the wizard, so I will start the backup from this group. It is very easy to monitor the status of a backup by looking at the monitor section of the Networker Management Console. This section will provide the status of the backup and let us know when the backup is completed. In this demo, I have shown the ease of configuring a Windows client for block-based backup. As compared to a traditional backup and restore of a file system, the block-based backup approach will perform five times faster backups and two to four times faster restores.